What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of GT Outdoors. Um, got another Havasu video for you guys. Uh, after being there last weekend, I had to get back out there. Uh, the girlfriend was on spring break, so we just uh, were able to get back down there. Huge shout out to our buddy Isaac Ochoa. He hooked it up on where we were staying on the Cali side of the lake. Um, and yeah, we had a blast. I mean, the fishing is amazing. It was amazing when we were there for the tournament when we, when I got that guy and this big old boy was able to take first place at a uh, Havasu. Being my first time there it was pretty amazing. I had a blast. Uh, but yeah, we were able to get back down there, and the bite is just gradually getting better. Um, it happened during the tournament. Saturday it was good. Sunday it was even better. And uh, when we got back down there this week, it was amazing. The first day, this this video that you guys are about to watch, uh, we kind of launched on the northern end of the lake. So basically, from mid-lake up, the water is pretty murky. There's some spots in some back of the, some coves that you can bed fish. And uh, if you see those really dark beds that the smallmouth are making, you could bed fish in the murky water. Um, but the south end of the lake is pretty clear until you get into the Bill Williams area. And then that place looks like chocolate milk. At least it did last week. Uh, we didn't even go down there because of how bad it was last week when I was pre-fishing. Uh, there's a lot of fish down there, a lot of striper. If you guys are going after striper, I would definitely suggest going down there, even though it's murky. Um, but yeah, so this video, it should be a good one. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, got to fish with one of my favorite techniques, and that's the 2.8 Kitech on a, just a regular jig head on light line. And uh, I was basically just casting it out, letting it hit the bottom, and uh, just working it back, bouncing it off of whatever covers down there, just slow rolling it, and uh, letting the Kitech do its work. And they were absolutely annihilating it. Um, I did get on like a decent drop shot bite, a decent crankbait bite. A decent jerk bait bite but the most majority of my fish came on that 2.8 kitek and uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy the video it should be a good one uh if you guys have any questions about havasu right now i mean i basically fished it for a week straight uh so i kind of kind of have a feeling of what's going on down there so if you guys need any tips pointers help with anything uh I'm more than willing to uh, share information so just uh, hit me up on Instagram or uh, in the comments below. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Nice, first fish of the day on that drop shot. It's a good one, dude. Probably like 19, actually. And we're in the Wildland Firefighter Tournament, so we're gonna measure this bad boy. Fought hard, bro. Jesus, cramming in these things quite hard, bro.
Nice. Nice. I'm gonna back off because I think that's a bed. Can't see it, but there's a big old fish sitting right here, pretty much under my boat when I hooked him. Just gonna back off a little bit. Look at that. Right in the roof of the well not kinda of the roof. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What the hell, bro? That shit just, I was reeling in and ate it right here and broke me off. God, that feels like a giant, bro. Sheesh. Freaking just loaded in here, dude. Yeah, I finally got one. Yeah. It's little though. Uh, small mouth? Yeah. Don't get me under there. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's a big old largey. Dude, they're freaking loaded back here. Yeah, that's my, that's four for four cast. It's like a two and a half, three pound largey. That's nuts. Yeah. Swimming it.
Oh, sorry, I didn't show the camera. My bad, fellas.